Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back again today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Wearing my cute blondie t-shirt from Walmart. I love this thing. It's one of my go-tos now. If you guys haven't tried these t-shirts from Walmart, the ones that have the, um, the graphic stuff, you need to try them. They are the softest t-shirts I have ever worn in my life. I love it. So anyway, enough of that. Let's talk Dollar Tree. Did you guys see what was in my thumbnail? In the craft section, they have out the oil pastels. I thought that was really interesting. I don't know a lot about oil pastels. I have no idea what the quality of these are, but I would like to learn. So I actually bought these for myself. I'm gonna go ahead and try to open it here and see what, what is inside. This is the box. I believe you get 12 colors. Yes, 12 colors. I don't know anything about oil pastels, and it does say all of the color names on it. I don't know if you can see down the side here. So all of the colors are written there. I think that's really nice. Black, brown, light green, dark green, light gray, blue, burnt, burnt sienna, pink, red, orange, yellow, and white. So I am gonna, I'm gonna try these one day. And see, I love to paint, but I paint with acrylic. So I'm really curious to try a little bit, teach myself some some things about pastels. So if you guys have any tips or tricks on that, please let me know. And just to play around with, if I, if I don't use these, I'm gonna put these on the floor. If I don't use these, maybe the grandkids will like them. I thought they were so cute. I picked up two. They are the, you get 15 sheets Crafter Square, the Tear Off um, palette. They are 9.2 by 12.01 inch, and it's just paper. They're very thin, but that's okay. So I think the kids will get a kick out of this if I don't use it just to play around with those pastels. Cute. Kind of looks like the state of Pennsylvania, <laughs> the shape. So I picked up two of these just, just to have. I love having that kind of stuff on hand. All of the grandkids are crafty. They love doing things and painting and drawing and all of that. So having that on hand, it's just, it's fun and it's something new. They had all these little wooden tchotchkes. I don't know what you call them. They're in the decor, not decor, but in the craft section. And this is called a wood hanging decor. So I guess it is decor. Both of them wood hanging decor. And the manager pointed them out to me, so I picked one of each up. And they had some other styles as well. One that was smaller than this, but similar style. I thought the kids could play with these and come up with something, you know, maybe make little a little sign for on it or something like that. So I just grabbed one of each to throw down in the craft room to, to see what they can come up with. This would make a great little, like, white picket fence. If you bought several of these, if you're doing something, Crafty wise, if you have maybe a dollhouse, I think that would make a really cute white picket fence. So I just grabbed one of each and they are wood and they have the little um, jute hanger, which you can take off if you would wish. There's no other hanging thing on it though. So I just grabbed one of each, just, just something new and different for the kids to play with and, and see. And they also have all of this burlap ribbon. And this is also by Crafter Square. And it says burlap, burlap crafting fabric. It is 8.2 feet. And I do not believe that this is wired. I'm gonna go ahead and open it because I do wanna check for you. No, it is not wired. They have it kind of taped. No, it's just a burlap ribbon. But I actually, I just picked up one because I do have burlap ribbon already, but I got this just to show you. But I'm gonna put it away for Christmas, see if there's something that I can come up with or or fall even, like in a, a wreath for on the front door, something like that. So I just grabbed one just to, to show you that it's out there if you need burlap ribbon, but this is unwired. And I didn't see it in any other shades either, just this natural shade. 
but they're nice to have, especially for the fall. And I have actually used burlap ribbon on my Christmas tree as the like garland on my tree. So that's why I got that, just to show you guys, but I will use it, I'm sure. I picked up two bags of the sand while it was there. I grabbed it. This is a 1.1 pound bag. And this is actually not even gonna go downstairs from this room. I have that big, if you guys have been following me for a while, I used to have back here a um, big snake plant. It is now over here in that corner. I put sand on the top of all of my plants. And if you guys watch my daughter, the holistic homesteader, Allison, she also does the same thing. And it keeps those little black flies away. They don't like sand. They can't get down into it to lay their eggs to have their babies so if you put sand on the top of your plants you'll never have that problem and it's time just from watering your plants the sand eventually just kind of sinks down into the dirt so it's time for me to put some more sand on top of that plant so i grabbed two bags because it's a massive pot i grabbed two bags to do it and you can use this sand for whatever you want to use it for any type of crafting you may have my nose is still stuffy, guys. I apologize if you hear me sniff. I needed a new magnetic list pad. I believe that says there's 60 sheets in this. Wow, I didn't realize there were that many. Yes, my Jot, they had all different styles. They have the big magnet on the back. I always have one of these on my kitchen, on my refrigerator in the kitchen. Just grocery stuff, write it down, and it says, don't ever forget your worth. I liked that. So I grabbed one just to have mine. I think there's two sheets left on it and I've had it for a long time. So I needed a new one of those. I needed a light bulb and this is the daylight type bulb. It's supposed to make it look like it's daylight. This is the LED light bulb and it's a 60 watt. I'm actually going to put it in this lamp right back here because the light bulb I have in there right now is very warm. It's very like a orange glow. I'm looking for a light bulb with more of a white glow. So I'm hoping that this will do the job. So that is why I picked this up. Every time I turn that light on to make a video, it just drives me crazy because it's so orange in the background. So I'm gonna try this and see if it works. If not, I'll use it in one of the lamps downstairs. And it's an LED, which is great. And it says it lasts up to 22.8 years or 2,500 hours. So, yeah, I know it's not going to last that long, but that's okay. This is a very random haul. Picked up some Irish spring soap, not to use. I am going to chop these up into little hunks, like one inch slices, and I am going to put them around our back deck. This town is notorious for skunks. We've already, one time so far this year, we've had to call the... Um, animal control had to pay for it to come and get a skunk that had crawled right under our sidewalk so they came and set traps and had to do that and we then it wasn't the skunk that we saw go under there this was a totally different skunk that they caught but we're seeing that same first skunk is still around so i am going to put this all around our deck i'm going to cut it up in slices they say it works I know it keeps critters out of other areas. I know Allison in her camper, she puts Irish Spring all around through the camper, plus dryer sheets. So I am going to try putting this around in areas just for that reason. And they say it also helps repel mosquitoes. So I don't know about that, but I'm hoping it'll keep the skunk away. This skunk is gigantic too, guys. He is massive. If it's a he, I don't know, but I'm calling him a he because he is big. And we see him every once in a while. He just wanders around the area, usually in an early, early morning or, you know, right, right when it gets dark. So hoping that'll work. Needed some garbage bags. The last box I got, I actually got at Aldi's and I love them. I think you get 80 in there for like five bucks, but I didn't feel like running to Aldi's. We were out way before Aldi's even opened. So I just grabbed some at the Dollar Tree. These are made in the USA, Good Sense brand. You get 14 instead of 12, but they also have the boxes that say 12 instead of 10. 
So kind of pay attention and try to find the one that says 14. These are in the lemon scent, which I really don't care what the scent is. These are just the ones I like. And they're the tie, you tie them yourself. They don't have the little twisty tie. I like these, they serve us well. We don't have a problem. I've talked about them before. They, as long as you don't shove them full, you're good. Needed some dishwasher pods. These work well for us too. These are the ones that are at the Dollar Tree all the time. And these are the Ultra Shine. And you get 10 packs in here. And that's it. It says leaves dishes sparkling clean. We buy these all the time when we need dishwasher pods. They work great. Dollar twenty-five for 10. So every once in a while, I'll pick up, you know, the, the bigger name brand just to kind of help get the, the dishwasher super, super clean if I think it's getting cruddy. But these Dollar Tree ones, they work well. I never have a problem with stuff on food or greasy or anything. They work great. I was out of my lids. I call these lids. These are like the um, shower caps. They're called cover-ups. They're like shower caps that you put over your bowls. I love these things. They are so convenient for me. Instead of struggling with plastic wrap or foil or whatever it may be, I love these. And there's three different sizes in here. You get 17 pieces. You get four small, seven medium, and six large. The small ones are very small, but the other two sizes work great. But we always find something to use the small ones on too. But these work well. I like them. They're sturdy. They do the job. And I was out. I had one small one left and that was it. A few food items. Well, let's do this first. Hubby saw this this time. They have the Dove. I had picked up one in the Dove for myself of this deodorant and he saw it for men. And that is the Dove Men Care Clean Comfort. And it says one fourth moisturizer technology, 24 hour odor protection, aluminum free deodorant. And it's a 1.7 fluid ounce. And it's the rollerball. And it smells really nice. He buys this same brand in the spray, the spray can. So when he saw this, he thought he would give it a try and see how this works for $1.25. The spray can, I think it's like $7 for the spray can of deodorant at Walmart. So $1.25 for this, why not give it a try? Heck yeah, why not? And then a few food items here, they had these. And they also had the, the um, pink packets as well, but this is equal. You get 100 packets, this is the equal brand. And it is sucralose, zero sugar sweetener, zero cal calories, great taste. I know these things aren't great for you, but I still use them every once in a while in my tea. I will use these if I don't have monk fruit. So I grabbed one and I do like the yellow packets more so than the pink. I don't use the pink at all, but it says, what does it say on the back? Suitable for people with diabetes, gluten-free, great taste, zero calories. One packet equals the sweetness of two teaspoons of sugar. So yeah, it's like Splenda, but the equal brand. So we just picked up one. Or did we pick up two? I may have picked up two. The other one may have gotten put away already. So yeah, and I didn't pick up any of the pink packets and I'm not sure if they had any of the blue. I, I can't think of what that is called either, but picked up a thing of the Cheerios and the little resealable pouch. These work out so well for me. The youngest little grand lady loves Cheerios. So I grabbed, grabbed another pouch for her. She finished one off and a thing of Fruit Loops. The one day she was here, she had a green Fruit Loop stuck right under her little chubby neck, right in the crack, and she fought me trying to get it out. She is just adorably cute. She has she has a little chub chub in, in her chin and things get stuck under there. So she finished off a thing of Fruit Loops, so I need to find another pack of those someday when we're in the store. But picked up a thing of the Cheerios, and I like them as well. I love Cheerios. But these are just the little packs, the 2.2 ounce by General Mills. And you know, she's never here for that long. So there's no way for her to finish off a pouch this big. I just seal it shut and keep it for the next time she stops by. And every once in a while, I have a bowl of cereal with it too. Cheerios, yeah. Picked up a thing of the Reese's peanut butter cups in the white chocolate. You get five in here. They're individually wrapped. 
They're for me. They're just for me. I just, I saw these walking down the aisle, the candy aisle, and it was just, yeah, I just wanted them. So I grabbed them. And I had all intentions of having one in the car when we left the store. And you can see it's still closed. I didn't, I didn't have one. So sometime later today, I'm gonna be having one of these just because. And I need a drink, guys. I apologize. This head cold is still kicking my tush. You can see my eyes are starting to water now. <clears throat> Sorry, I apologize. Hubby picked up another thing of this tea hava, the raspberry black tea. He enjoys this a lot. One of the things though, he picked up two and we realized after the fact, and when I was getting stuff out of bags and separating it for hauls, one of them, the other one, the seal had been broken. We did not check that in the store close enough, but there is when you twist it there's like a thin plastic line you know it separates like like a milk jug would it had been broken so we ended up having to throw that one away but it happens so he has one he has a raspberry this is really good if you haven't tried it try it is it the greatest deal no but it's still delicious and then the last thing guys, I believe one of you had told me you had found the salon selectives in the bigger bottles and I found them. Thank you for letting me know. And these are the 60% more, the bonus size. And this is the, the pink bottle. This is the volume, volume and body conditioner enriched with biotin. And this one is the same. And this is enriched with lemongrass. And these are 22.5 ounce bottles of the Salon Selectives. I love this. This is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite shampoo and conditioner at the Dollar Tree. I love it. It works well. It works well with my hair. It doesn't dry my hair out. It smells nice. It's not heavy. It doesn't leave a heavy buildup. I love this. And I believe I showed it in my empties haul, the little pot, like a deep conditioner. I love that as well. And they, they also have in the Salon Selectives, it's a white bottle. I can't remember what is in it there, in it though, marula oil maybe. I don't like that as much for my hair type. It's, it's kind of heavier to me and it's, I'm not a big fan of the scent of it. It's stronger and it seemed like almost a little bit greasy to me for my hair, but worth trying and I did here quite a while ago but I always go back to the pink so anyway guys this haul ended up a little bit longer than what I thought it would I'm up to almost 18 minutes if you guys like this type of thing please subscribe I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family you guys are the best have a great day everybody and I'll talk to you again here really soon peace